All right, after I get done eating my uh, lunch, uh, I'm going to, uh, that's what this is right here. It's steak enchiladas. Anyway, after I get done eating my lunch, I'm going to uh, prepare this to put some foam on it. And uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but uh, I'll figure it out. Uh, because I want to be able to carve away and, and save myself some clay. And uh, let's see, I better get the butt in the picture. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll run tape around here make and do one side at a time uh, with a little bit of foam. And uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know if it'll work or not, uh, but I've got to uh, try to save myself some clay because it's very expensive stuff. And uh, besides that, I can do a lot of my carving on the uh, the butt before I even put the clay on. And uh, it would uh, save a lot of clay. And strengthen this uh, very weak uh, type of board. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I don't know if this will work or not. But I'm going to try to do this with uh, duct tape. I may have to resort to something else. <coughs> The one thing this thing's going to want to do is just leak all over the place. And I don't want leaking. I got a piece of wax uh, right here to sort of keep the uh, musket level. I'm not going to be using a lot of foam, just a little bit. Right. Now I got uh, these from the uh, local grocery store, the deli. They're great for mixing uh, the foam. Okay, I'm going to pour half the solution. Do another cup and try to match the level. Okay, just eyeballing it. I could use a, a weight thing, but I'm just see no reason to do that. What I mean by a weight thing, I mean a little weighing device that uh, measures in ounces. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim it down a little bit. And I've got to find my knife. Now I'm taking the uh, half measurement and putting it from the opposite side of the uh, board because that'll subtract for clay. Now I just draw a line.
pretty damn good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down this cloth or this towel to catch any uh, fiber from the uh, or dust from the uh, carving here that I'm going to be doing. Top picture looking down it gives me the shape of the uh, top part of the thing. I need to follow the shape of the uh, stock and I'm going to go back not that far and then it comes in right there. Now I got this rasp at the hobby, I mean not hobby store, but at the uh, true value. What I'm going to do is a wood rasp, but it works good here. What I'm doing, going to do is just shape that indention in the right, oh, the, the uh, musket button, but there we go. got some canned air here so I'm gonna just blow away the fine particles. All right, what I managed to do, I was carving this hand, and a knife slipped and took, cut right across there. So I had to go home and print out this picture because I wanted to see what the shape of the back of the butt was. And uh, I thought it was rectangular, but I just wanted to make sure. Always nice to have a little anvil in your, your uh, studio uh, for things that you have to flatten, like copper wire or tubing. Alright, I'm going to cut this uh, trigger guard off with my jigsaw and I'll uh, be right back. Alright, I cut the uh, trigger guard that I had drawn off and I'm going to place it back where it was and then I will put the uh, copper tubing armature on there. So it's positioned properly. And take some electrician's tape and just uh, make it permanently on there. And I just push out the uh, old one and keep the new one. There's still going to be a lot of sculpting going on in that area where the tape is. And the tape won't hurt anything. It just uh, makes sure that the uh, trigger guard is now attached. All right, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll start adding uh, wax to this and uh, try to at least get see how far we can get tomorrow with the uh, stock on this uh, club butt fowler. Boy, that was really sharp. Unbelievable. All right, and somebody asked me when am I going to put this up next to the figure. <laughs> You'll just have to tune in. <laughs> That's how I keep you coming back for more.